Hey everybody, this is Steph Mistruck with KillerSites.com. In this video, I want to give you a basic overview of what SSL is. SSL is short for Secure Socket Layer, and it is basically a certificate that is applied to your website to make it secure for online transactions. So let me translate that into English. Essentially, you get this certificate and it's a, an encoded bunch of text. And it basically allows you to secure, encode, encrypt the information that's going from your website to the web server. It's most commonly used in online credit card processing so that when somebody enters in their credit card information and they hit submit when it's transmitted over the internet it is transmitted in a uh, encrypted manner so that if somebody were to intercept that uh, interaction between the website and the web server they would just get a bunch of encrypted information rather than people's credit card numbers for instance Another application that you see SSL apply to uh, a lot is online banking sites. Okay, now that I've given you the nerd explanation, I'm just, I'm just going to give you a quick example of what SSL is all about. So we're going to go to the killervideostore.com where we sell our video packages and of course we take in credit card information. So let's add something to the cart. And here we go. Now, right now, if you look at the URL, the website address, you see www.killervideostore.com, add to card.php. This is not secure because it's just www. Now, there's no indication indicator that it's actually a secure site. Even though it says secure shopping, uh, this is not encrypted using SSL. In so let me show you what I mean by that. So if we hit the checkout, this is actually going to take us to the secure part of the site. So there you go. And why is this part of the site secure and the other? Because this is actually a different website. Look at the URL up here, the address. You notice you see secure.killervideostore.com. That is a different web address than just killervideostore.com. And Another reason you know, well, the main reason that you know that it's secure actually is because you see this HTTPS. You see normal websites, it's just HTTP. So let me give you an example. So I'm going to go here, new site. So I'm going to type in HTTP, HTTP colon, worldwide web, oh, colon slash slash, worldwide web dot killer sites.com that takes us to killersites.com now if I go in here and I try to tell the web browser that we're going to go to a secure version of killersites.com which is HTTPS S is for secure watch what happens secure connection failed why because we don't have that set up we don't have the site to be set up to be secure and that's pretty much it it doesn't exist but if we go to the killer video store you see HTTPS works now if I had set up a secure site on the server but my certificate and you have to go buy the SSL the secure socket layer SSL is short for secure socket layer I would have to go buy it somewhere if it wasn't set up properly, it wasn't renewed, etc., etc. You would get an error message like this one here. I just got a copy of this off the web somewhere. So this particular site was not the, uh, excuse me, the secure, the SSL certificate was not up to date or there was something wrong with it. It wasn't installed properly. So this would appear when you hit the page. Um, that's it. The reason this happens is because some people may you know, try to uh, pretend that they have a, a proper certificate and so on. This is very rare, to be totally honest with you. I think there's a lot of hype on that. 
But so now you know what this is all about. This basically, when you hit a site and you see this type of thing, it's just that the certificate that they claim to have, uh, there's something faulty about it. It could be something scammy or more likely they just forgot to update and renew their certificate. That just happened to me. Or uh, they did not they did not install their certificate on the server properly. So there you go. So that's a basic rundown of what an SSL certificate is. It's something that you buy and then you install the certificate on your server. Uh, let me show you an example of where you might buy one. So again, I'm not trying to promote here. Um, we just offer uh, certificates at uh, web hosting at killersites.com. So you click through and uh, yeah, let's just log in. And you see SSL certificates. Now you can um, buy them, so I'm gonna click through. And here you go. You have uh, all kinds of certificates available, all kinds, you got a couple. You got the standard and the premium. Now the price of a certificate will vary from shop to shop and depending on the level of uh, certificate, you know, how, how fancy the certificate is going to be. I go personally with a standard SSL, it's more than enough for my needs. The premium one, it gives you this fancy green border and some other little doodads that may um, make people visiting your site feel more secure about. And they may feel more secure about your site if you have the premium certificate. And maybe it's worth it, you know, if you get an extra sale out of it in a year, you know, or a few extra sales, what's, what's the extra 50 bucks, right? But Again, we personally just use a standard. Essentially, you buy this thing, you add it to the cart, you buy it, and then once you have your certificate, then you have to install it. And uh, the company that sells you the certificates, as we do, will teach you, will show you how to install it. The good thing is, is that, in fact, um, your web hosting company will likely install it for you. Now, why would you want to install an SSL? Again, what's, it's probably most likely is because you want to take in credit card information. Um, essentially, you want to install an SSL when you need to have that communication between a server and the web browser to be secure. You need two things to get your site secure this way. First. You need to get a domain name that is on its own IP address. You, you know, most times when you're hosting, you're sh many different domain names will be sharing the same IP. When you want to secure a domain, it has to be on its own IP. So that's why when you look at web hosting uh, packages, They'll mention that, whether you can get your own dedicated IP or not, because IPs are limited. There's a limited n number out there, so they're a bit of a premium. So you might have to pay a little bit more sometimes for hosting if you want a dedicated IP. And then you need, of course, a um, you need a domain, you need an SSL certificate, which you buy. There's a whole process involved in buying an SSL certificate, certificate and then installing it I'm tempted to show you, but I won't because it really depends on the type of server that you happen to be hosted on. And in fact, you know, if you're using Windows Server, the process is different than if you're using a Apache server or using a server that has cPanel, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what I'm gonna do instead of trying to walk you through the whole thing in detail, I'm just gonna log in to a very old site that uh, is pretty much dead in the water. And uh, I'm going to show you. So we've logged in to the, the C panel, which is basically the control the control panel for the website. Not all websites will have it uh, control panel, but many will. Anyway, even if you don't have C panel, the, the basic things that you're seeing here is applicable to, regardless of the hosting uh, setup that you happen to have. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for the SSL TLS manager just to get a quick look at some of the options. And basically, again, this is a part of the control panel that allows you to sort of to set up and configure your, um, your SSL certificate so you can secure your website. 
the main thing that you have to start with, uh, besides buying the SSL from the shop, uh, like the killer sites, domains, anyway, um, is you have to get your CSR, which is a certified signing request. And this basically looks like a bunch of um, code. I'll show you. I'll, I generated one myself recently. So I think I have it here somewhere. Hold on. Hold on a second. Here we go. So CSR generation for secure.killervideostore.com. So as you can see, um, here's the, uh, the beginning of, of the certificate. And here's the end. You're going to basically be provided at some point a place where you can cut cut and paste this into um, into a form uh, on web on the web, and uh, and you're basically applying the certificate to the server. I'm not going to get into it beyond that because the step by step should make it easy for you as you go through it. But you know, it's like uh, here we go. So you might you might get a, a form like this where you you paste it in. And then the server sort of take care, takes care of uh, its configuration for you. Again, fortunately for you, many host hosting companies will provide this for you uh, uh, as part of the package service. So I wouldn't be super concerned about that. What you want to take away from this video ultimately is that if you want to take you want to take in credit cards. Uh, on your website or you want to secure your website you need two things you need to have a dedicated IP behind a particular website you need to get an SSL certificate and you go to an SSL certificate provider to do that and um, and you apply it and it's your cost can vary from you know 25 a year to uh, 80 90 100 bucks a year or more depending and at the end of the day I have to say, in my opinion, for most of us, the security uh, provided by SSL, uh, though it's very good, I think it's it's overkill. And in, in reality, I doubt most people will be uh, subject to uh, you know security breaches if their site is not secured by SSL, um, simply because I think the hackers are more interested in really big name sites like Sony or something. Uh, so the main reason to have SSL really is uh, is to promote sales because when people see secure shopping, it makes them feel good. Uh, that's a big part of the reason. Also, though, I have to point out if you do want to accept credit cards on your site, uh, you do need to have an SSL site. That's just uh, the banks won't won't let you do it otherwise. Um, although I should point out. When you do accept credit cards on your site, you have to go through something called PCI compliance, which goes even way beyond SSL. Uh, so I recommend that you actually offload the collecting of credit card information off to a third-party site. So if we, for us, for instance, I'm going to show you how it works with killer sites. We used to collect our own credit card information on our own site. But because of the PSP, PCI compliance issue, it's this whole new initiative put forth by the banks. And I don't want to get into it. I think it's a bit of a scam, personally. I decided to offload it onto my gateway, which is another company. to hold, Basically, the company that handles the credit card transaction processing for me. So when I now we filled in this personal information here in the form, so I click Continue. And what's happening here, though we're still on killervideostore.com, um, well, let me just continue here. We verify the order. See if it's loading here. We're actually loading in now a form from my provider. So even though we're on killervideostore.com, this form here is actually, we're using an iframe and we're loading this in from my credit card processor. This whole site still has to be secure though because this element is, is secure. And uh, it wouldn't, it wouldn't let us operate otherwise. So I needed the, SS, the SSL certificate anyway. All right, I'm rambling on here. I hope you understand the whole point of SSL. And I hope you found this video at least somewhat useful. Bye-bye.